Hello everyone, this is Yoro here, and today I'm going to show you how to extract League of Legends files for y so you can use them for making custom skins or whatever else you want to do with them. So, first of all, you will need Obsidian. I will put the link in the description. There's just a new version which came out today. So, now you will need to go to where League stores its game files which would be in your Riot Games folder, League of Legends mm, Game? Yes Game Data Final Champions and then there you can see there are two different kinds of web.client files the one with this one, it might look different uh, depending on which region and which language you play on for me I'm on EO West and this means uh, it's, it's simply in English so those are actually voice files, and you won't need them if you just want the game files, which you will need th that one for. Then you just want to open one of them. Then you can see all the files that are contained in the VOD file, and those are basically all the files for the champion. Then you want just to go export all, and then just put it somewhere. I'm just going to put it in my downloads folder. Then, as you can see, there are some weird files and some folders. So, in the data folder, you have bin files. I can't really ha tell you a lot about bin files because I'm not sure how they work at the moment. But they basically contain data on, for example, what particle files to load to just also interaction data or something. And then there are those bin files which are actually bin files which contain different bi other bin files that are in the data folder for example if you look at that one it contains the bin file from skin 1 uh, skin 0, skin 1 and skin 3 so they have some shared files, probably particles I'm not sure which skin that is but yeah <coughs> so the real interesting part is in the assets folder because there you have all the files that are used by the champion sounds again I can't really help you with I don't know how to work with them in shared you usually only have from like older champions and there was mostly not a lot in there and not a lot of files but as the folder says they are shared across multiple champions so for example if you edit them another champion could look the same in some way for example when I did in Nidalee, my KDA Nidalee skin I had some blue particles on speed lines for her, I guess it's a passive. And then I was also doing a Severe skin, and then Severe, when she was also taking an enemy, she had the same effect. So then you have the characters folder, and those are as well shared particles for other champions. So as you know, we extract Aatrox, and he seems to be using this file as well, to some extent. Or from Milaoi even. Well, those files are just shared in some way, and the bins load the textures but then for example here you have the HUD images those are the ones on the lower left where you can see the champion image <coughs> that's the one you can see in the HUD when you press tab I don't know what that is that's not always there but those are his skill icons those are spell indicators which not all champions have obviously because some have just the basic ones, but for example Aatrox has some special ones. <coughs> then here you have all the different skins. You have to click into them to see what exactly are the skins that are hidden behind those names. Here obviously we have the base skin. And then you have multiple textures. The one without anything in front of it is for the highest quality. Then you have the 2x and the 4x. And I believe, let me just see. 128. Uh, yeah. This is. F so those textures are for the, uh, for the very high and high texture settings. Those are for medium, the 2x ones. And the 4x are for low and very low, as far as I know. Then you have all the animations that can that the skin u uh, uses, and you have the particle files, which are usually all textures, 
They are SCB and SCO files, which are basically models for particles, and sometimes you even have SKN and SKL here as well, which are the model files or the format used for the normal model files. And then you will just uh, see the same structure in all the folders you look at, basically. And you don't really need those 4x and 2x files. Be only if you play on lower text on like lower texture qualities if your PC is a bit worse. <coughs> Sometimes the skins don't actually have that, that the custom skins, so you'll have to do it yourself if the creator didn't do that already. But yeah. Now you have all the files that you need for custom skin making or for example if you want to port the model somewhere else. And yeah, that's it for now and see you soon.